In this video, we'll learn to forgive, not forget. Learn from experience, not ignorance. From a very young age, we form our behavior towards others based on years of interaction with others, which includes our family, friends, and even strangers that we came across. We consciously or even subconsciously emulate the behavior of those we admire. At the same time, we try to avoid behavior of those we feel less comfortable with. But the big takeaway is we're constantly striving to become the best version of ourselves. While you may not be able to forgive what someone did that hurt you, you don't have to use this in a negative way. Instead, you can use all the past experiences and failure as a positive reinforcement to improve yourself. The best strategies to discover the best version of you is to be mindful at all times. Be mindful of your current behaviors and decide whether each of these behaviors serves your higher purpose. Identify what behaviors you want to take on and what behaviors you should reject. Also, learn from your past experiences. For instance, you forgive the bully at school and realize that his actions are not ones you condone. Therefore, you know that bullying is bad and you will never be a bully. You forgive the person who isn't punctual and left you waiting idly for them. You now know how frustrated it is to wait for a person who's late and would never wish to impose that on anyone. Each of these seems like common sense, but so many people hold on to grudges and learn nothing from them. Yes, you have the rights to hate and even hold grudges, but think of the big picture. Instead of instilling hate, tell them what they did wrong and move on, regardless of apology. You might feel like a loser in this situation, but always look at the big picture. Forgiving others and moving on shows your strength of character. That's a precious lesson to learn. Thus, it's not a question of forgetting. It's a matter of putting that action into your mind and learning never to do that to others. Of course, don't let history repeat itself. Simply learn from the experience and move on. That way, you enrich who you are and you'll be a lot happier. This also applies to when you need to forgive yourself. If you have done something to upset someone else, the best way forward the best way forward is to be humble and apologize. Whether they accept your apology or not doesn't matter. It's all up to them. You cannot be responsible on how others deal with forgiveness. Focus on yourself first. If you have done all that you can do to make amends, move forward and learn your lesson so that you don't make the same mistake again. Don't beat yourself up when you've done everything possible to make amends as it can never resolve anything. It is very important that you are able to forgive yourself and release yourself from past attachments that can only bind you and make you suffer. The past does not equal the future. Alyssa was a victim of domestic violence in a failed marriage. Sadly, she had low self-esteem and by the end of her marriage, she still believed that she only got what she deserved. Fortunately, she managed to grow in character after being alone for a while. She realized that she held grudges both against her abusive husband for treating her like dirt as if she had no worth and against herself because she hadn't lived up to his expectations. After a long struggle, she was surprised that she was able to forgive him and let him know that she held no grudges against him and that she wished him well in his life. It made her feel whole again. It was like walking away with her head held high. She used empathy to try and see the situation from her husband's viewpoint, bearing in mind his background and his own demons in life. Then she had to take the walk toward forgiving herself for several things. Had you asked her what she had to forgive herself for, the answers would have been contradictory, which is why she had so much trouble handling her feelings. A, she thought she had not lived up to what was expected of a wife. B, she thought she was worthless for thinking all the bad thoughts about her husband. C, 
she also thought she wasn't worth much more than he had offered her. However, as she went through the healing process, after forgiving herself, she found that she had to let go of her past and move on as the past does not equal the future. Today, she's able to form a strong foundation in her life before embarking on another relationship. There are women who believe that holding on to past sins makes them attractive to men who enjoy protecting their other half. Oftentimes, this is based on not being able to forgive themselves and having lost their sense of self-esteem. Unfortunately, these are the types of women who will walk from one abusive relationship to the next because they never form that strong foundation when they're single and rely on someone else for strength. That's a huge mistake. You have to find yourself, plant your roots, and become a person you love and respect before you can expect to have that kind of love and respect from someone else. The truth is that we never really do forget about the things that people do that hurt us. However, when you're able to forgive, you can also learn how to make your life a much better place. Also, you'll discover how to approach life from a much more compassionate standpoint. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.